You sound okay? Everybody good? All right, Coach. Questions. Oh, super proud of my team, man. My God. Um, when I went out with COVID, uh, some of my close friends told me uh, we wouldn't get out the first round um, just because my team depends on my energy and effort so much. Um, and yet we're playing in the championship game against a Rice team that was ultra experienced. Um, of course we wanted to win, uh, but in, in hindsight, if we couldn't win, then this, I still feel like I got a victory for this program out of this and be completely honest. I know that may sound cheesy to some people, but I mean, I could, I could list the wins that we got from this experience and this, and this season, five freshmen play y'all. Uh, I consider Taya to be a freshman five, uh, incredible. So that's what I got. Um, obviously my team's heartbroken, but uh, I talked to them about the good things that they did and I'm very appreciate, appreciative for them. And I want to say real quick before I get to the uh, questions, uh, really appreciate appreciative for you guys as well. Um, just covering us all year. You didn't have to. It started to look bleak at one point. Um, and you all stayed encouraged and, 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 and gave me a chance to uh, get my young troops going. And uh, for that, I'm appreciative. Courtney? Coach, just kind of backtracking to the game for a second. Midway late in the fourth quarter, you make it a four-point game. I guess, you know, what was it that you were just having a hard time, I guess, catching up and being able to, you know, come yeah. back with it? The moment. The moment. Um, I was telling the team two years ago, uh, Rice was in the NCAA tournament. Those same kids played in the tournament. They understood the moment you could tell from the beginning of the game. Um, they understood it and, I, and my players didn't. My, the only player that's played postseason for me is Shakira Austin. I don't have any other players that played in postseason. All right. So they understood the moment and we didn't. And I, I don't know how to uh, explain that other than that's what happened the whole game. Uh, so even when we made a run back, I felt like they were in control the whole 40 minutes. And then just a quick follow-up from my end. If at the beginning of this insane season where it didn't seem almost certain that it was going to even happen, if someone had told you that your team would have made it to the WNIT championship and had a game to actually, you know, take it home, what would you have said to that? <laughs> I would have laughed. Uh, I would have laughed. We started off the season, Shakira didn't even know that she was eligible to play. Um, we had a bunch of freshmen. It is so hard to coach freshmen, y'all. I mean, it's like gratifying, but it's very painful too because they don't know what they don't know, you know? Um, so that's why my perspective is there. That's why I'm like, I'm not on here crying. I. Like we, this is a win for our program. We had a three rows, three like bleacher spaces filled. You put that in the pavilion, it's rocking next year. You know, um, I'm in it for the long haul y'all. You know, so this is just a step in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you. David? Hey, you're talking about the long haul. Um, I mean, you return nearly all the production off this team next season. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned, some very excellent, very young talent. A lot of teams have used the WNIT as a catapult for yeah. bigger things. Talk about that, if you will, for just a second. Yeah, I mean, some facts is six of the teams that are in the were in the NCAA tournament, uh, four of them that were in the Sweet 16 were in the finals. Uh, of the NIT. Uh, two of them that won the championship were in the Elite Eight, uh, are in the Elite Eight right now. So 
Um, it, it's encouraging to say the least. Um, just, we really needed this experience, y'all. Uh, we'll have a healthy AP back. Uh, we're going to recruit real hard. We have some holes. We, we have some holes that, uh, that we have to fill, uh, that we will fill. I can promise you that. Um, and, and, and I feel good about saying, if you're going to place a bet, bet that we'll, we'll be a part of 64 next year. You know, just have to continue to grow. I, I want to ask you about the uh, Shakira Mulkey matchup today. Mm -hmm. Shakira still gets her 25, yeah. despite a uh, six foot nine presence under the rim. Yeah, I mean, Shakira is special. Um, we have one more year with Shakira, so we definitely have to make it work for us. Uh, she's going to go in the draft, hopefully, top three next year. Um, there are some things we're going to do to improve her game. Uh, I just told her how much, like, I appreciate. I don't think people understand what Shakira Austin did. She left a team that is in the Elite Eight right now to come to a team that had zilch worth of success, all right, because she knew she needed to be challenged. She needed to be pushed so that she can accomplish the goals that she wants to accomplish. And the pressure of being the only one that had the experience of playing in postseason was incredible. And the way she handled it throughout the season with class is one to be admired. And she's going to have an incredible off season. All of my girls are, and I'm just really glad she's coming back for a year. Right. How about her, her, her effort today against Mulkey, because that girl's not only six, nine, she's, she's got some skills as well. Shakira yeah. gets a 25. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I thought it was great. Uh, Mulkey did some really good stuff, though. You know, I, I underestimated her experience. You know, I, under, mm -hmm. I, I forgot that she was there when they did go to the tournament. Uh, you know, Mulkey signed with Baylor out of high school, you know, so she's no slouch. Um, and she did some really good things, but... Um, if I'm going to have to choose, I'm always going to go with Shakira Austin. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Parrish? Hey, uh, Yolette, uh, in the first half, y'all got, in spite of Mulkey, y'all got some good looks at the rim, yeah. really good looks, and didn't hit those. Do you think that your players, Shakira and others, were thinking about Mulkey even after they got the step, even after they got a clean yeah. look? Did she yeah, affect well, Go ahead. That's what she does. Yeah. That's what she, I mean, that's what we do to people. You know, that's why they mess around the rim because we're shot blockers. Um, but we get up off the floor. She only had to get up the floor. God gave her a gift um, to be long. <laughs> and so we, uh, and we, and, and, and in spite of that, we just miss just, I mean, I don't know if y'all could see it. it. Our lack of experience reared his head. I mean, just, not being composed, making layups. We met, we took 20 more shots than them. I mean, if we, I'm, I'm, I could think about five layups we didn't make and we didn't have that sense of urgency. Like my team like was like acting as if they had another game tomorrow. <laughs> and my message on the board was like, no do-overs. No do-overs, ladies, this is it. And, and they can't ex it, they can't understand it until they go through it. So we had to go through it. Uh, but I thought that Rice um, dominated the game for 40 minutes. Nick? Probably a long answer to this one, but with all the uncertainty from this year, what did you learn about coaching and learn about your team from just the experience of coaching through this pandemic? Huh. Man. I learned, I learned that this is just a game. There's so much more uh, than just being a game. But I also learned that this game is important. I, I, I know what it has done for our players. I know what it has done for our community. I know what it has taught me uh, to be resilient. I know what it has taught my team 
And I, I'm telling you, I have a great amount of respect for anybody uh, that had to be in the front lines of this, the amount of testing, the amount of sacrifices. I mean, I, I had players that had deaths in the family. They couldn't even attend. They couldn't even, you know, the sacrifices, man. Um, I got a tough group. Anybody that played this season is a tough group. So I learned that it's just a game and, you know, I, we can't lose ourselves in it. People are dying. We are in a pandemic. But I also learned that this game is beautiful and is important, and I'm glad to be a part of it. And I'm glad to be a part of Ole Miss. Um, the opportunities that Keith um, has provided for me with the extension, the president, Lynette, um, I'm forever grateful. You said at the top you could – make a long list of all the positives that came from this year. And I'm not going to ask you to make yeah. the whole list, but just what stands out about what you guys did achieve? Oh my God. Again, I, I started two freshmen <laughs> the whole year. I played, I relied heavily on four of them the whole year. I only have one player that played postseason ever. <laughs> um, I had my, I, my coaching staff won three games without me being on the sideline. Um, we got people are talking about women. Well, anytime they talk about you on the liquor store in the barbershop, you've made it, baby. Um, they're talking about us. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. We got a 3.61 GPAs, the highest in the history of the program. Um, and, my, and the majority of my team's coming back. So, you know, super excited about that and the future of this program. You guys haven't seen anything yet. Wait till we're done with this off-season transaction. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Chris? Coach, you had mentioned that, uh, you know, this the game, the moment, you know, yeah. this is the first time being the moment for your team. How important was it that they got to experience this moment, your players and your staff? Oh my God, it was incredible for us to experience this. This this was the best thing for us. And I, I don't want to say NCAA tournament doesn't matter, but we would have went and got out in the first round. Let's just call it space space. This was incredible for my group. Like if I could have scripted this any type of way, this would have been the type of way I would want to script this. Uh, I, I could not stop talking to my team at the end about how proud I am of them and what we've accomplished. And I am so excited about the future of this program, Chris. I could explode. Um, so it's a win for us. I know we didn't win a, the championship, but this was a win for us, for sure, and this program. Courtney, do you have one more? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, Coach, looking at just last season and the way that things ended in the SEC tournament where it was, you know, a struggle from start to finish, did you imagine that your team would go through the amount of growth that they did this year? And I guess if you could just kind of expand on the level of growth that you actually saw from your team. One couldn't imagine one couldn't imagine it. Not when you lose every single conference game. Uh, but, you know, we, we, the year before this was the foundation year and uh, my staff and I really worked hard, really worked hard to uh, get some spots that we needed. I thought the acquisition of Shea Robinson uh, in the off season was also huge. Uh, he came in and brought an incredible uh, amount of championship mindset that was needed for our program. And then to allow our players, our youth, to just go through experiences. Um, there's no other way they can do it, right? You know, like you got to go through it. Um and so, and that's why you didn't really see me like in the game, like just losing my mind, just because like I've 
won a championship. I know what it's like. Um, and I just, when, when, when the game started, I was like, ah, I don't know. This may be too big for us right now, you know, and I'm going to try to see how I could get them there. But, you know, those missed layups and stuff just shows that uh, Rice had the experience and we didn't. Thank you. Thanks. Any further questions for coach? All right. Again, thanks, Thank guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jake, Adam, everybody, thank you all so much. And we'll have some fun talks uh, soon, all right? Catch me in a week. I'm going to go put my toes in the sand somewhere, and then we can, we can rendezvous, all right? Thanks, guys. Thanks, y'all.